Hello Minecrafters, this is Sturge45 here with another Minecraft video and today I have something pretty special that I've been working on for quite a while. It's uh, taken everything that I've learned from playing factions for about a year and putting all my ideas that I've learned into this one base concept. So let's start it off and the first thing you want to do when designing a base is you want to find a mob spawner so you find a mob spawner and you want to design your whole base around this mob spawner so when you're inside of the base it constantly spawns you can constantly get XP so that's the first thing you should look for when you want when you're scouting for your base the second thing is when you start building you want to go all the way down to bedrock and um, when you're playing on a faction server there's going to be um, you've all seen it there's cracks and stuff in the bedrock so you want to uh, make sure you fill all those cracks with obsidian so no one can phase up or glitch up so once you have built your box you're, you're going to want to build a really good chest system and I'll show you what most people use it's um, you know a block over your chest and then water over it so there's so explosions can't blow up your chest and if creeper eggs are allowed this this really um, this is your only way without covering your chest in obsidian to protect your stuff so what I've done is I've done, designed a base around using an air detector and it opens up these pistons which allow you to have access to your chest and it's five blocks high so if creeper eggs are allowed or um, if they can get in and somehow uh, aim a TNT cannon inside your base your, your stuff will be protected so there's no way <laughs> there's no way that they can uh, find your stuff because this will be closed and only you will know how to access your uh, your chest system so that's that's the second thing you really need to work on is protecting your valuables the third thing is which I've designed this it, I think it's a pretty cool concept these redstone lamps will activate when there's someone snoop snooping around your base so let me reset this and I'll just show you guys how it works it's basically because cows um, stand idle after 32 blocks so when you're designing your base you want to have a buffer area of 32 blocks at least or um, if you're if it's not 32 blocks these cows will uh, start moving and activate the pressure plates so it, it takes maybe you know a couple of seconds but if there's anybody snooping around your base they're gonna de these cows are gonna start moving and they're gonna hit these pressure plates so this is a really cool system because it it allows you to um, know if someone's snooping around and from what direction they're coming from so I would know there's someone snooping around on this side of my base so that can alert me I can get my chest I can get my armor on and and then you know that's a really cool strategy that it's given you a little bit of extra time to prepare yourself for battle so that's a really cool system I can make a tutorial for you guys if you want to see that um, the third thing you really want to have in your base is easy access to different parts of your base that are secure and that only you and your faction members can um, access. So what this is is a cobble, cobblestone uh, generator as a door so only people in your faction can use this and it prevents people from you know accessing different parts of your base so that's um, 
it gives just some extra security inside your base and this would be especially useful um, for you to have this in uh, many parts of your base so you want to add as much security as you possibly can so it's just simple it's a you can find a tutorial on the internet easy it's just a simple simple uh, cobblestone generator or vertical cobblestone generator and then the fourth thing is this isn't really too important but you want to have your beacon blocks inside of your base because um, I just did this simple pyramid so it only gives me haste but if I built the, the larger pyramids I could have re well I think it does have regen at the same time so you constantly can break blocks faster and you can have regen going or you can have resistance resistance would be really nice to have inside your base so these are cobblestone posts and uh, they don't block the beacon so what I've done is all you gotta do is put obsidian around this and um, your beacon will be protected and no one can get inside your base so this is really cool you can instead of having this around you know outside your base I mean obviously you want it inside your base and then you want to have the self-sustaining faction I think everyone knows this so you want to have all sorts of kind of food and uh, everything you need inside your base because you never know who's going to be sneaking around and the fourth thing I like to do is I like to have a false sense of the raiders think that can they can raid you. So what I mean is you really know that you're protected, but they think that, oh, they, they see this opening. So they're like, whoa, I found an opening. So they automatically like run up here and they're like, oh man, it's just a, you know, a, a uh, or a you know a stone door I can easily aim a TNT cannon through that so we'll go up here and look and <laughs> the trap didn't work for that reason and they'll hit this trap and they'll fall down and you get to collect their stuff it's really that simple and that was like the first time it actually didn't work but this is it's almost undetectable. It's a stone um, pressure plate and it's around stone so it's a lot harder to see and you don't want it you know on the same level as this platform because it's a lot harder for them to see if, if you like walk down on it so it's just really simple you just walk and then you fall and you want this all the way down so they'll automatically die like 30 blocks I'd say is probably good and then the last thing you want to do is have really easy transportation up and down from the many different layers of your base so most bases have you know many layers most bases are towers it's just more efficient to design a base like that because you have less area claimed and what this is is just minecarts and you just press them and you'll get um, teleported into them so it's faster than a, the ladder and it works pretty dang good and just if you want to get down without uh, getting fall damage you just fall into this and that's basically it guys I hope you guys enjoyed and um, leave a like if you learned anything I hope you guys did just taking all my experiences and putting it into one big um, faction design concept uh, video so I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching